While using the Dart, it will be helpful to reference both the layout guide within the tool and the latest How to Design Adobe Atmos Mix Room guide. Ensure that you have downloaded the document from the link below and have it on hand for reference. While using the tool, remember that for many of the input fields, you can hover over the field with the mouse for more information. To start, let's verify our units and enter the working space dimensions. It is important to note that these are the dimensions of the space in which your speakers are placed, and not the distance between the speakers, as in previous versions of the Dart. In a rectangular room, the working space dimensions will be the same as the room dimensions. For irregularly shaped rooms, there will be a 3D rectangular approximation of the room shape. See the working space dimensions guide for more information. Once we have entered this data, the speaker positions and angles will auto-populate, and layout visualizations will appear on the right side. White cells that have gray text represent the default position of the speaker and should be edited as needed to suit the room. Next, enter the speaker model. In this example, we will be using active speakers, so we will ensure that the checkbox next to the model is ticked. Click into the speaker field to reveal the drop-down selector. Click the drop-down icon to see the list of available speaker models. An asterisk next to any model indicates a legacy model, and BM indicates a base-managed model. If your chosen speaker is not on the list, you will have to create it in the Extra Equipment Entry tab, which we will cover in the advanced video. When you select the first speaker, the tool will auto-populate the remaining speakers, as well as provide information about headroom relative to the target SPL. The headroom cell will change color, with green representing greater than 3 dB, yellow between 0 and 3, and orange-red below 0. If you have any speakers below 0, you will want to change the model accordingly. You can adjust the model of each speaker if they are different than what has been auto-populated, and you will need to select a sub. If you are using passive speakers with amplifiers, you will need to uncheck the checkbox next to the speaker model and select your amplifier in the Amplifier Model section that is revealed. At the bottom of the speaker position table, a Studio Design Issue message may appear. If this is present, first switch off the hover images in the speaker position section using the checkbox in the View Options section, and then hover over any cell highlighted in red to see the design feedback. Once you have verified all of the information and resolved any issues, you are ready to install. Printable diagrams of your design and an equipment list can be found in the Design Printout tab.